Hello everyone. I'm going to show you today how to fix your grid options so that the students here in DeKalb County can access your grids without having to remember a password. So we're inside my grids, inside our educator dashboard, and I'm going to click on one of my grids. So I'm inside the Ida third grade grid. I'm going to click on grid actions and edit grid. And here we can see all the different details about our grid. If we scroll down to section two, we can click three different options of allowing our students to get into our grid topics. We can choose school email domain, student ID list, or PLCs and public grids. With a school email domain, it takes anybody with a Google education account or a Microsoft EDU account and allows those people to sign in with their Google or Microsoft accounts to be able to access the grids. With student IDs, you're going to actually create your students' usernames if your students do not have email addresses. And with public grids, anybody can access it, but they ask that anybody that posts videos be 16 years of age or older. So for DeKalb County, school email domains work best. We can click on that and add DeKalbK12.org as one of our tags and then click Update Grid. So anybody that signs in with a DeKalb K12 email can access this grid once they have the code. So let's try it. We're going to go to back to Flipgrid and enter our code for our intros. And it says that this grid is locked, but we can log in with Google or Microsoft, but our system uses Google. We can also click Remember Me, and it will remember us for next time. Click Log In with Google, and then your students would choose the Google address that they're already logged in with. And here we are at our flip topic, and we're ready to begin adding our student voice.